Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to work with matrices and vectors in Lua within Copelisim. Lua has several classes to represent matrices and vectors. It has two generic classes, matrix and vector, that will allow us to represent any matrix or vector respectively. In addition to this, it includes specific classes that will be used to represent a rotation matrix or a homogeneous transformation matrix or the position of a 3D point. The objective of this presentation is to focus on two generic classes, while specific classes for working with 3D geometry will be seen in another video. First, given a Lua table represented here by a set of t values, t1, t2, and so on, we can assign table values in a matrix or vector format as shown here. Therefore, a matrix and a vector are nothing more than a table stored with or storing numerical data on which we can perform some mathematical operations so it contains specific methods. Now we will see a set of examples that will help us to understand how to work with these classes. Here, specifically, uh, we see three examples to create matrices. The first example creates a matrix filled with random numbers. In the second example, we create a matrix filled with a Lua table. And in the third example, we create an identity matrix. If we call uh, the matrix constructor and pass only these two arguments, it will create, by default, a matrix filled of zeros of the upper p dimensions. There are other methods that can be used, uh, for instance, the method ones that will obviously fill uh, the matrix with all ones in, in all its elements. We can multiply two matrices by using the star operator or multiplication operator. We can also add and subtract matrices using just the plus and minus sign. Or we can, we could even perform uh, arithmetic operations with a scalar that will affect to all the elements of the matrix. We can individually access the elements of an array using the square bracket operators. If we do not indicate the second coordinate, then uh, it will return the corresponding row of the matrix. So it's the first, uh, the, uh, if we use the square brackets, but only with one uh, uh, coordinate, then it will return a row matrix. Then if we uh, access to uh, an, uh, an element that is outside the matrix range, then we do, uh, as, as we do in the, in the second example, then uh, it will return a nil value. As you can see here that we are trying to access to element 1, 4, but this is a 2 times 2 matrix, then this is why it returns a nil value. But if we try to access to a row that doesn't exist, then it will return an empty array. Then to, to set, for instance, also um, a specific element of a matrix, we can also use the square uh, bracket operators. We can concatenate vertically or horizontally matrices, as you can see. Obviously, the dimensions of the matrices uh, must be consistent, otherwise it will throw an error. We can uh, access to a submatrix using the slice method. In this case, we must pass the coordinates of the first element of the submatrix and the last element of the submatrix. Here in this example, the first uh, coordinate is the element 2, 1, and the last element is the, the element 2, 3. In the same way, we could assign a submatrix to an existing matrix using, in this case, the assign method. We can also uh, delete rows and columns of matrices using the methods drop call or drop row. Uh, or we can assign rows or columns using uh, the methods set row or set call. The transpose of a matrix is uh, obtained using the T method from transpose, while we can calculate the inverse of a square matrix using the uh, Gauss-Jordan uh, Gauss, uh, uh, method uh, using the inv function. 
the matrix library does not include the, com the computations for uh, computing the pseudo inverse of a matrix. However, this is convenient in many robotics applications since it is rather quite useful to try to invert the Jacobian of a matrix and this Jacobian is not necessarily a square matrix. Therefore, we can use that the, the inverse of this matrix should be done with the pseudo inverse operator. Okay? Then in uh, here, what I have included here is a script that will help us to compute this uh, pseudo inverse. And also you can see here um, a simple code uh, to help you uh, uh, how, to, how you can use it. Okay? Like matrices, we can also create vectors. They are nothing more than matrices but in a column form. So we can create them, we can assign them in a very similar way that we did before uh, because indeed they are matrices and the majority of the operators and functions that we have previously seen can be applied to vectors too. For example, we can multiply a matrix with a vector because basically it's the same as multiplying two matrices with uh, the appropriate dimensions. There are functions or specific functions for filling a vector with a linear spacing using the lean space method, but also there are other methods to fill uh, the spacing with a logarithmic or geometric spacing. In this presentation, I have introduced the use of matrices and vectors in Lua using Copedesim. Thanks a lot.